Right, so the PowerPoint hook sharpener. Um, new product out, um, designed to sharpen your hooks when you're out and about on the riverbank, on the lake, and you've got, um, you need to sharpen your hook. So I'm gonna talk you through the kit first. Basically, you get um, an LED uh, magnifying glass. The magnifying glass is uh, 40 by 25, so you can get in there to like a jeweler's grade uh, magnifying glass with the LED light on there to help you see uh, in the dark or during the day, believe it or not. It actually helps you see a lot better. You have the, the PowerPoint itself. As you can see, very small, very neat, uh, fits in your pocket and uh, a grinding stone. With the grinding stone, this can actually be interchanged. So if the stone runs out, you can contact us and we have new stones. And the stone just simply fits in there nice and easy. This will not run out in a couple of months. This stone uh, is a diamond bit grit, so it is very hard wearing and will actually um, grind down your hooks very fast. So what I'm gonna to talk to you about is how you actually sharpen a hook with this unit. Like I say, it's designed to be used on the go. So in between casts, anything like that, you know, you're fishing on a gravel bank and you're really hooking and you've got a bit of a blunt point. This is ideal, just get it out of your pocket, turn it on to setting one, just give it a quick touch up on your hook. There's two settings, as I've just said, you've got um, setting one and setting two. The reason there's two settings is one, if you've got um, small hooks, very fin fine hooks, which actually have quite a good point on them already, you just want to put it on setting one just to give it a quick touch up. If you're using Euro hooks or anything like that, big hooks, trebles, if you're sea fishing, anything like that, setting two, a bit faster, will grind it down a lot quicker. But for general purposes, you probably only need setting one. So you've got your hook, as you see here, we've got a hook. The hook on this um, is used, all right? It's not a, it's, a, it's out of the packet a, a few months old. As you can see on there, we can see that the hook, it's probably best to have it on a bit of a background so you can get a good look at the hook. We can see that the hook is quite blunt. Take the hook in your hand. Now, a lot of people have said about a vise. The reason we haven't supplied a vise is because of the dexterity of our vise and a, and a and a grinder is you don't have that feel. If you put that in a vise with a, with a grinder like this and you put it on there, you can't feel the pressure that you're putting on the hook and it's very easy to round a hook off. That's why we didn't supply a vise with it. Like I say, it's supposed to be used in between casts or anything like that. Now, if you're not used to sharpening hooks, don't just pick this up and think it's just gonna sharpen the hook for you. Take a bit of time to learn how to sharpen a hook properly and how you should profile it anyway before you start. If you just pick this up and think it's just going to sharpen your hook straight out of the packet, it's not going to do that. You have to have a bit of knowledge anyway. Setting one, there we go, and just start to give it a little touch up. Now I can feel straight away the amount of pressure that I'm putting on there and that's what you're looking for. With a vice you won't get that necessarily and you can grind it off too much. Now it doesn't take much. Little by little, just work your way through it. And I can already see that there's a lot sharper hook on there, a lot sharper point. This is quite a big hook, so it'll take a little bit more time. All right, now there's actually quite a nice point on there. The beauty of this unit as well, is if you just want to touch up the edges, top and bottom, it's very easy to do. Now, that is a lot sharper straight away, I mean, I don't know if you can see how sharp that is straight away. It, you know, it's, it's literally just picking on there straight away. Yeah, that's fine. Like I say, have a background to it, put your finger on there so you've got something to contrast the hook against. And I can see straight away that's a lot better hook. And that's going to catch me a hell of a lot more fish than it would have before. So there we go. So that's the PowerPoint hook sharpener. Very small, very neat, fits in your pocket. As I said, um, great for on-the-go casting or anything like that.